Last night, before bed, Bill suddenly exclaimed, Oh no! What? So oh. I guess we'll give the update once we're done if we survived. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't even know how to say this, honestly, but I really believe that vehicles are somehow a very big factor, spiritual warfare factor in our lives. Before I even was in the door into the, the barn here, Eva, who the, the banana peels weren't even close to her, she somehow smelled them and she knows. She knows, look at her. She knows I have bananas. She knows. How did you know? How could you smell them? I didn't even have them close to you. Okay, I'll get her banana peels. She knows that I had them. Look. <laughs> and you want more? Where did that banana go? Okay, let's get Faith. She thinks I'm gonna give her more bananas, but you need to share. The other ladies want some too. So here's a funny story for you. Last night, before bed, Bill suddenly exclaimed, Oh no! What? And he said, The high is going to be at midnight in a couple hours. Which means the low <laughs> will be happening when we wake up and all day sure enough last night we went to bed it was in the 30s and when we woke up this morning it was negative 10. so our high today was at midnight you know however many hours ago somebody put in the comments about oh I would take a whole pile of snow over that cold any day. And isn't that funny how that is? That I, I've said the same thing where I'm like, I'd take this bitter cold over hurricanes and tornadoes any day. But actually, I would prefer piles of snow over bitter cold. So yes, I agree. So I was reading Mark 13 last night. But when I read that chapter, at the very end of it, it's talking about where Jesus is talking to his disciples, what I guess think at the end times, and how when I read that, I'm like, that's not very encouraging. <laughs> but what is encouraging to me is where it says that the Holy Spirit will speak through us, that we don't have to worry about what we're going to say, because the Holy Spirit will do that for us. And I don't know, that's such a beautiful promise because believe me, I'm never going to, I don't know, I, I never say the right thing it feels like. I never have that feeling of like, in a, if I were talking with somebody, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, that I'd say the right thing. I probably feel like Moses or something, you know, where he's like, but I can't speak. Um, I'm just doubting and doubting myself in that way. When I trust the Holy Spirit, it's kind of like what I said the other day about uh, asking God to help me to do exactly what he wants me to do throughout the day and trusting that by the end of the day I've done that. And it's the same thing with this, that I need to pray that God will give me the wisdom and give me the words to say no matter what situation I'm in and then trust that he and have faith that he is actually answering that prayer. And that's comforting to me. Little tweet. I have a little tweet. I have a little tweet for you. Nom nom. All gone. Watch this. Olivia doesn't want to come in. Olivia. Hey. Look at this. Oh, she sees the banana. You want the banana? Come on. Yeah, you gotta get up here. No! You gotta get up here. Come on. Up here. <laughs> she thinks she gets more bananas. No more. You gotta share. How are you doing? No, I'm both hot and cold. Uh oh. Wasn't earlier your must or your your beard all white? 
probably. <laughs> I went in the house for a minute, took off my coat, and put on my bomb with you. Yeah, that's very nice. Bomb through the day. <laughs> you know, I just kept on moving around. Well, so Brown Ford started anyway. So. Yay. I do feel really bad for Bill. He has to go to the sale barn today which means he's gonna be out in this wind and this weather all day long. And that is just incredibly not fun. It seems like every Tuesday, no matter what the week's like, Tuesday is always the worst weather and it just makes for a long, hard, cold day. Devouring that one off. Turn 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52. Good job. Thanks. Excellent. Soon I'll be way down here. You know what? And then So I just got done putting up my shelf on the right hand side. I have to wait until Thursday for the other hinges to come, which is hard to wait for, being impatient. But I figured I better not hang those shelves until those hinges come because I know I would struggle if they were hung. I would struggle getting the hinges on while they're up there. So I, I just need to be patient and wait. So I'm hoping tonight I will be able to start working on the little area by the garbage can that's by the sink on the left hand side of the sink. I want to make some shelves there and, um, and then I'm going to cover it with the curtain like I have mentioned before. So I think I'll start working on that now while I wait for the hinges. Also, so Bill has been at the sale barn, it's bitterly cold out and we're tasked with the job of all the chores, not just my chores but all of the chores which includes the horses down the lane and then the animals up here so we need to brave the wind and the weather last time i checked it was negative 10 negative 30 feels like temperature with that wind it's so bitterly cold oh so i just need to be brave the kids and i are both all gonna all three of us are gonna bundle up and and go out and get it done just have to bear down and do it. Just bear down and do it, huh? Can we do it? Are mm -hmm. we brave enough? Yeah. Are we I think strong so. enough? I think so. I think so. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it's freezing. It is freezing, isn't it? Just uh, being out there for a few seconds, just going from the semi to our house, the door was freezing. I got freezing. Mm -hmm. So a little bit. So I guess we'll give the update once we're done if we survived. Yeah. <laughs> the flaw of a house with the stove in the entryway where you get suited up for winter. You get really hot waiting for the kids to get ready. So I'm waiting for them. Hadessa, yeah, you really need a hat and gloves. Get all that you can. It's cold, okay? I'm just going to show you these too. I got these for Christmas. Looks like I have hearing aids on but they're uh, speakers and they work awesome. Like my ears are too small for the ones that stick in your ear and they're always falling out, which is annoying and already can't hear. Um, and so these like fit around your ear and go behind your head and connect to this side. And, and they are, I don't know, I don't really get it. They bone, they somehow, I don't, I don't know, something about bone. Anyways, they're really cool. And they, um, you can hear uh, really well with them. How did I get roped into this? What's going on? Why is there somebody pulling me? See their steam. Her. 
So this is one of the things I really, really think about our lives and one of the reasons that we're fasting. I really, really believe that vehicles, and I don't even know how to say this honestly, but I really believe that vehicles are somehow a very big factor, spiritual warfare factor in our lives because of the amount of trouble that we always have with them. And I want that broken and stopped. And so I guess it's now how, what does that look like to actually stop it? And, you know, like Jesus said to the, his disciples, well, that demon only comes out through prayer and fasting. And I always think, what if that has always been the key is that we've never prayed and fasted to, to break off the whatever spiritual stuff going on. And anyways, the pickup is, is broke down. We're going to go and on um, and get it pulled out of the way uh, i don't know just be praying if, if you're praying with us and boris be praying about this situation so we can figure out just what to do and how to stop the continual attacks <laughs> i know all oh, the deer how many like six so, I, well you're gonna have to back up to go go around it or something but anyway we got to pull it this way We have projects galore going on. Josiah is making pita bread. Hadass is uh, finishing up a Christmas present. <sighs> I'm making this. And then Make after. Tie dye. And then after, I'm gonna do some uh, space painting. That was from you. That was a Christmas present from Granny, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, lots of exciting things around here. I'm gonna do it now. 